This here is home to homesteader on the educational front. A while back, and one of my homers loving learning life lessons living, I promised you, actually it was the one about the shuns, and education was one of those things, and expertization. Uh, I promised you I'd show you how to make some paper pots for getting your plants started in. So today I'm going to show you how to make this. Made it out of a piece of scrap, eight and a half by eleven paper, and as you can see, it's about two inches, about two inches. My thumb's about an inch to the knuckle, about two inches uh, square cube. And so I'm going to show you first all the folds you got to make, starting with the eight and a half by eleven piece of paper. Uh, or really any size piece of paper, but I think it being rectangular to start with is important. So I'm going to show you all the folds you got to make, and then I'm going to fold one up for you, and then I'm going to fold another one up for you, uh, and then go back over to different folds so that you'll have some good experience and some references to go back to. These little pots, like I said, about two inches out of eight and a half by 11 piece of paper. I've also, when we were up on the homestead, we made some and got all our plants started up there this year uh, out of some newspaper, and we just used half the newspaper size. I don't know that I'll fold. Maybe I will. I'll go and get me a piece of newspaper. I'll make the first one out of this here purple scrap paper, and then I'll make one out of half sheet of newspaper so you can see the two different sizes. I'll be right back. As you can see here, Homer has each stage of the folding lined up on his gardening table. You might notice his gardening table got a holy sheet on it and holy moly. I hope y'all like this video, but here are the stages. First, you start with the piece of paper. Like I said, I've only tried this and been successful with rectangular. You fold it in half the long way then oh, you'll notice also I folded it in half this way so that it had a crease in the middle and that's so on your next folds you'll be able to tell where the center is at you fold up one corner like that then you fold up both corners then you fold this front flap down so that it's folded in half or sometimes you got to do it in quarters and then fold it right there over the top of the rectangle pieces you made next you turn it over and you fold up when it's flat like this once you turned it over you fold up this this and then again you're going to bring this top down like you did on the last one so that you fold it over in half, or sometimes it takes a quarter. Fold it under the little edge that it made here. You see there's that edge, we'll fold it under there. Now that you have this little kind of house looking thing, ooh, it's a house. Then you fold the bottom up. And then after you folded the bottom up, you make folds this way and then back this way and then you'll pull out this tops and that bottom will fold in and you'll end up with all that in reverse with a nice little pot next up how we make some and so here's how we make the folds like I said first you're gonna fold it in half the long way gotta be kind of close on that doesn't have to be perfect you'll learn a lot with Homer that he gets things close but not quite a hundred percent he's okay with improvements over time part of his project management maybe and then you fold it in half again like I said this fold is not required but it's helpful when you take this next step with the open part at the top I'll show you that well, maybe I'll show you the open part at the top. You're going to fold at a triangle, kind of like if you used to make paper footballs when you were a kid like me. 
kind of that sort of shape. And then again from the other side, like I said, Homer's about being close but not perfect. And he found this is one thing that you got to be kind of close to get it to work out pretty good. All right, next step, I usually do this. Again, this is important that the open side was at the top. I usually fold it down along here first and then fold the second one in half. You might see on the newspaper, I think those usually require a, another fold making it into fours. Get that all laid down flat, flip her over. Next, you'll use that center line again if you made it. If not, you're going to have to guess pretty close. You fold each of these flat flaps into the center line. It's going to be a little hard here with all this extra paper in the back. Flatten her out nice and flat there. And then from the other side to the center. Get that flattened out there. And then like I said, this is to fold down again. Some of them will end up being quarters. This one smaller end up being half. So like I said, I fold it first to the top. And then I fold this down to the line. Now this is a little trick Homer tried to do. That works out pretty good if you fold these corners in because it's kind of tight in there. It uh, helps getting it in there. And then this is Homer's most difficult task here is getting this back in. And this usually when in the video world probably be a good idea. Oh man, I got that one right in there. And then this one too. That's constructed. Once you get it all laid out there, that's constructed a square at the top. Now these last folds are about helping just to open it up a little bit when you're done. So that this will make the bottom outline, the square around the bottom. And then I found that it's pretty easy, like makes it a little easier if you fold each side of this up, and that just helps the paper fold back on itself a little easier. And then last but not least, you take this at the corner. Sometimes you gotta give a little assistance in getting that corner in, and getting it to fold down as you pull it out. And they turn out pretty good. You mash them out. And then I found these take a little bit better shape when you get some dirt in them. But that's a pretty good start. Uh, you might not be able to see completely with the light, but there's the line across the center. There's what it looks at the bottom. Like I said, these are about two inches. More or less, I never measured them, so I just guessed. This here is Homer the Homesteader. You can see this isn't quite the same size as a normal piece of newspaper, so this might turn out a little different. But I've been at this a couple times, and uh, this funny times is about the only thing I could find that didn't have something offensive or a little child. So I gotta shout out to Funny Times, even though this ain't a paid advertisement, and my friend what subscribes to it so that I got this here issue. So back to folding the pots. Uh, this is square, so I don't know how it's gonna work out, but normally you fold it the long way. Like I said in a couple other videos, and the one showing the eight and a half by 11, you wanna get this fold to the half just about right. Most newspapers are not folded exactly on the center. All right, and then uh, you're gonna wanna fold it again into the center. Again, this fold is not required, but it certainly is helpful. And so once you got that, making sure you keep the open side to the top, you can fold up at an angle, side one. Hey, look, it even matches up on this here floor. 
I had to change too. I ran out of daylight and didn't recognize all the stuff I didn't want to show until it got edited in the video. There's a uh, fold two again. You're gonna want to bring this down on a normal newspaper. You'll end up quartering this. Uh, looks like on this one too. Uh, make a little different size pod depending on what piece of paper, size of piece of paper you got. So fold that in half. Um, I think this one will work with just the half. On a regular newspaper, I usually end up with a quarter of this, a quarter in this, so I would have one more fold. But I think with this, I'm gonna leave it long. And I see I keep folding it down too tight there. So fold it, fold it in half again. And then make sure it's right on that line. Turn this over. Fold the flaps in. Again, that center line is helpful. Not necessary. Flatten each of these flaps out. And then this will come down right to the edge there. Fold it right to that edge. And whatever size the other one is, if it's a quarters or a half, you're gonna have to do this the same. You know, to make a quarter, you just had to fold that one more time. And then like Homer said in his other videos, not required, but he's found these little dog ear triangles help when you're folding it back in here. Newspaper is a little bit easier than the printing paper. This newspaper really easy. Got all flattened out. Kind of look like a little picture book house. Fold the tip all the way back up. Like I said, this will make the outside square around the bottom. And then to help it fold in a little easier, these aren't required, but they do generally help. You have to try it with and without it, see what you like the best. Fold that back in. Kind of leave that folded up. And then you're ready to pull out the corner. This made a lot bigger one than I made in the past. Heck, you could plant a tree in this one. So there you go, you got yourself a reused newspaper, reused paper, folded pot. Like I said on the piece of paper, one this will hold a little bit better shape once you get it filled with dirt. And you can make it out of just about any size piece of paper. At least the smallest I tried is eight and a half by 11. And uh, this one here made quite a sizable pot. I'd say probably four inches across so a four inch cube uh, there you go bigger one then with your eight and a half by eleven piece of paper you'll see it fits in there these make great potting soil pots uh, they hold their shape a little bit better once you stuff them with some dirt and get your seeds started in there so anyway I promised you I'd show you how to make those and again, uh, one last part here. I'm going to go over each of the folded up ones in the final product. So, and here are the three different sizes. I uh, made this one with the funny times. This one is half of a normal newspaper sheet. And this one here is an eight and a half by 11. As you can see, those two fit nicely in each other. And then that last one from the Funny Times makes quite a nice large pot. I think I'll try some of my stratified cherry seeds and also my stratified loquat seeds in there. So you start with a rectangular piece of paper, fold it in half the long way. 
and then fold it in half again. That's a good guideline. Next, you'll fold one corner in, and the next corner in, and then once you've got both those corners folded in, you'll fold that top thing down, either in halves or quarters so that it's folded down even with where those folds are. You'll flip it over, fold the two tabs in, then you'll fold this whole thing down, again, halves or quarters. Um, I make a little dog ear so that it folds back up under here nicely. Once you've got that made, you fold it, the tip up, and then after you've folded the tip up, both those, and it's ready to pull out. You got yourself some nice paper pots. It doesn't have to be perfect, but once you fill that up with a little dirt and put some water in, it'll be fine. It's been Homer the Homesteader with a gardening getting started tip. I look forward to doing more fun stuff here on the homestead. Well, actually, I'm not quite on the homestead yet. We'll be in November. Probably won't be sweating like this then. Uh, hope you have fun in whatever it is you do and maybe learn a little bit about homesteading or gardening or self-sufficiency from our channel here. Don't forget to subscribe and if you like what you see, like and give us comments below on things you might like to see as well. Just saw your lack of update on property.